Hello everybody, this is John Singh and I'm here with a quick overview of the ESS Capacity and Performance Spreadsheet. This is the tool that we'll be placing out on Partner World shortly for all business partners and it has been available internally for uh, IBMers. Uh, it is used to get a good estimation of the performance and throughput for Elastic Storage Server. Here you can see the spreadsheet and on the Instructions tab you simply follow the steps and we'll go through uh, the steps for you here to see how you can change the number of ESS models. Select the ESS model that you wish to do, the type of network, and we'll be able to see how the capacity and the performance and throughput is calculated for you. Notice here on the Disclaimers tab that the information is as is. This tool is based on IBM performance runs. It is uh, used to uh, give you a good estimation. However, uh, you are still responsible for making sure that you understand the customer's workload. You are responsible to understand that the tool is a guideline, but in the end, you need to make sure that you understand how the customer's workload is going to be put together, how the network is put together, and the results are uh, your responsibility. This tool, of course, is a great help for that. Now, let's go to the tab. Here and on the spreadsheet, the way it works as follows. Let's take row seven, for example. Here you can see that we specified a GL6. We specified a type of uh, performance, a network type, uh, six terabyte drives. And then you see that the spreadsheet calculates for you the amount of usable data, as well as the uh, throughput that we expect. Here that uh, means 20 gigabytes per second, uh, assuming an eight megabyte per second block size. Now, the way the spreadsheet works is, is that the fields that you can change will have a drop down. Notice what happens if we change to a much smaller block size. As soon as we select that, notice that the throughput has changed as a result of that smaller block size. Let's go back to the 8 megabyte per second block size. And you can see how the spreadsheet calculates it for you. Uh, by the same token, let's suppose that we come over here to the network and let's go instead of InfiniBand. Let's go to 40 gig. You can see that the throughput has changed as a result. Let's go to 10 gigabit. And see, you can see how this uh, starts to work. Uh, so we'll change it back. Certainly, uh, you could uh, expect that if we have different models, let's go in here, let's make this a GL4. You can see how the workload has changed accordingly. And of course, uh, you can specify the quantity. Let's say that we have uh, two. GO4s. You can see the spreadsheet handles all these types of things. So that's basically what the spreadsheet uh, does. It gives you, based on these parameters, an estimation and a calculation of what you might expect. Use this as a tool. To, uh, now, there is an overview of the general overall capacity and throughput. Uh, this is sequential throughput in gigabytes per second on the left. Uh, here is terabytes of usable capacity on the bottom. And you can see the different models of the Elastic Storage Server. There's even a Flash System 900, which is put in here as well for comparison's sake. So I hope that quick overview has been useful for you. This spreadsheet is available on the IBM uh, uh, intranet. Uh, look inside the uh, wiki pages and it'll be listed there and it'll be on partner world very soon. Thank you for watching.